Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the 5th day of September 2023, and our topic for today is Enlarge. Let us pray. Our great Redeemer, the one who causes us to triumph continuously, the one who blesses us with all good and precious gifts. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We thank you for how you keep showering us with your love. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your provisions. Thank you for your protection. Lord, we say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Today we come before you to yet receive of your word again. We ask that you speak your word directly into our hearts today. Let our hearts receive them and let there bear much fruit to your glory. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our come back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 2. Isaiah 54 verse 2 reads, Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy inhabitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 2. Our text for today is from the same book of Isaiah chapter 54. We'll be reading from verse 2 to 5 now. Isaiah 54 verse 2 to 5 reads, Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The God of the whole earth shall he be called. Isaiah chapter 54 from verse 2 to 5. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome back. Once again, our topic for today says, enlarge and in the body of today's devotional our father and the lord says to us that to enlarge means to make bigger implying that anytime there is enlargement there must be two important factors involved the objects to be enlarged and the fellow who is going to be the enlarger you are the one to be enlarged and the enlarger is the one spoken about in genesis chapter 1 verse 28 which reads and god blessed them And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. The scripture above didn't say, Be fruitful and increase, but rather, Be fruitful and multiply. This implies that if you are truly fruitful, then you will multiply. That is the true definition of fruitfulness. God is not interested in addition, but rather multiplication. You must seek to multiply over and over again. Why then are many people, including Christians, satisfied with the status quo? Some are satisfied with getting a little increase in their salary every two years. Some pastors are satisfied with just sitting over one parish of their church with the same number of people for several years. This is as good as a taboo, especially when you consider the status of the person who said, be fruitful and multiply. There is a popular saying that goes thus, garbage in, garbage out. Your current results are a reflection of the work you have been putting in. If you really want to multiply, then you must multiply your efforts too. You must multiply everything you have been doing in order to get the desired results. If you do this, 
you would soon realize that your results have also multiplied. Multiplication is in levels. Some people will multiply 30-fold, some 60-fold, and some 100-fold, and so on. Multiply your input in proportion to how much increase you desire in your output. Multiply your input in prayers, in work, in study, in giving, and so on. Just before the Lekki 98 Crusade, where we had the largest religious gathering in the world at the time, I told my partners that if I thought I had fasted before, I was only joking because for the results we were trusting God for in that program, I needed to fast far more than before. Luke chapter 6 verse 38 says that it is with the same measure that you have given that it will also be given to you. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says, Enlarge. Elementary mathematics makes us understand that 2 plus 2 would give you 4. 5 plus 5 would give you 10. 10 plus 10 also, for example, would give you 20 as the answer. However, when you switch to multiplication and you multiply, for example, 4 times 4, you would be getting 16. When you multiply 10 times 10, for example, you would be getting a whooping 100. Today's study makes us understand that God desires for us to multiply. He already blesses us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish the earth and to subdue it. He wants us to have and to exercise dominion. Hallelujah! Today's study makes us understand that there are two sides to the equation of multiplication. There is the input side and the output side and we are made to understand that what we get on our output would be determined by what we put in as our input. Remember when we tried multiplication, we said 4 times 4 would give us 16. For some, that may look like an appreciable result. However, 5 times 5 would give us 25, and 10 times 10 would be giving us 100. As much as God has told us to be fruitful and to multiply, we learn also from our study today that the efforts we put in goes a long way to determine the kinds of results we would get. We are told today to be tired of the status quo, be tired of the ordinary results, be tired of a little increase here and there. Trust God for substantial results, which must be backed up by an increase in our input. This means that if we are trusting God for an increase in our finances, we must be ready to do the things required of us on a higher scale. We must be ready to double efforts. If we want to see his hand at work in our lives, if you want to see him move mightily in your ministry, then we also would definitely have to put in more input than we have done before. Remember our Father and the Lord today talked about garbage in and garbage out. God does not bless empty voids. When he talks about blessing, he talks about blessing the works of our hands. Scripture tells us, for example, in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12, that the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. Remember, I did not just say the Lord will bless you, but he would bless the work that he finds in your hands. That is when you'd be able to lend unto many nations and not borrow. To also enjoy this multiplication dimension of God's blessings, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 tells us that whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Do it excellently well. Put in all your efforts. Look for how what you are doing can be done better. Do not be too satisfied with the little results you are getting. If you are trusting God for great and multiplied results, then you also have work to do. It is often said that you don't keep doing things the old way and expect a different result. If you want a result you have never had before, then you must be able to do things you have never done before. I believe in my spirit that for someone today who is trusting God for an increase in specific areas of life, your answer has come today. He is saying, try a little harder and I would bless the works of your hands. I would cause you to increase. I would enlarge your coasts. I would increase and multiply you beyond your imagination. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads. I don't know what it is that you have been trusting God for. 
You may have been seeking multiplication in certain areas of your life. Why not bring it before the Lord today? Say, Father, in so and so area of my life, cause me to enjoy multiplication and increase in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, in this area of my life, increase me, enlarge me, cause me, Lord, to enjoy the multiplication dimension of your increase in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord today, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let today mark the end of getting the regular. Let it mark the end of getting ordinary addition results. And let us step into our season of multiplied results in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for a revelation of the things we need to do, the inputs we need to make to get these desired results. Actions that would bring in results of 30, 60 and even 100 fold results. Let the Lord reveal it unto us today in the name of Jesus. And ask the Lord today that He would shake out of our lives everything that makes us to settle when we are supposed to push for more. Ask Him today for the grace to be diligent in the works of our hands and in everything that He has left in our care. Begin to declare over various areas of your life the fruitfulness and the multiplication of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Declare over your finances, say in the name of Jesus, I am fruitful and I multiply. In my spiritual life, I am fruitful and I multiply. In my work, my business, I am fruitful and I multiply. In the work and the assignments that the Lord has committed into my hands, I declare that I am fruitful and I multiply in the name of Jesus. I appreciate the Lord, give him thanks and worship his name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Lord, we thank you for your word today. Thank you because we know that we would never remain the same again. Thank you for causing us to enlarge on all sides. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would cause us from this day onwards to move upward and forward. We declare no going back in Jesus' name. We separate ourselves totally from ordinary results. We declare in the name of Jesus that we step into seasons of receiving multiplied extraordinary results in the name of Jesus. We also receive the grace for clarity on what to do, the right inputs to make to actualize these results. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection in our study today that asks, Are you really fulfilling the mandate of God for you? to be fruitful and multiply in all areas of your life. We receive the grace today for fruitfulness and for multiplied results in all areas of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Ezekiel chapter 36 down to chapter 38. We also want to sincerely appreciate you and thank you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, Please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is from our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, There shall be showers of blessing. Have a wonderful and remarkable day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you greatly. Bye for now.
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.